Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing some more Land, and last time a bit of a struggle uh, because of a unfortunate reality regarding detecting the presence of a thing. Anyways, last stage of World Five. Uh, we're stepping into hell itself. Look at that. There's a nice door. Oh! So maybe this is the one where we're allowed to have fun with uh, the nuclear reactor. That would be cool. Like, I posited that yesterday. Like, how, you know, like, it's kind of nice to have and all, but... You're, like, almost immediately discouraged from doing anything with it. Well, maybe they're just doing it backwards. Oh, we got some rising lava here. Oh, jeez, and it's not going slowly. Well, uh, uh... Okay. Okay. Got it. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I kind of like having the bunny ears, though. So, there's no issues at the start. Oh, yeah, it stucks out a corner there, doesn't it? So you get a mushroom that I barely got. You get a star here, which fell in the lava. I didn't fall in the lava because I was following it. I fell in the lava because it always takes me a minute to re-get used to this game's physics. Here, just kind of get. Then you get here and you're like, yeah, got her. So I guess... Oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah, like you kind of, again, like you kind of want to try not to destroy too much. Alright, missing out on a lot of the normal stars, but I think that's okay. Oh jeez, I messed up. I messed up. Uh, I should maybe have to like toss the thing so I could do the jump. You know what? I'm just gonna do the level normally. How about that, huh? Can't defeat me there! And here we can see how, yeah, like, if you're not concerned about destroying blocks all day long, and you just do the platforming, this goes pretty quickly. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's actually pretty easy if you can just get- Oh, jeez. Utsuho! You're like straight out of, uh... What's- Oh, hey, you get me one of these back. You're like straight out of the thing that I'm trying to remember. Super Yoshi Zone. Okay, so you jump on you to make you regurgitate fireballs. Then I can blast you in a mushroom. Got it. Okay, don't be too aggro. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't be too aggro. I died to ag aggressiveness. Straight up. Like, I just went in and, yeah, I paid the price for it. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Well, I didn't get that guy. I mean, it's clear that no matter what I do, I'm gonna have to return. Uh, uh, no, shoot. Well, you know what? That's fine. Down here? I don't... Oh, I could... No, well, I mean, I'm gonna have to return regardless. So, whatever. I need to survive a little bit. Alright, so... Let's be sensible here. First, you let the crow jump. Like, it's a big, giant leap for mankind. Then you only need to get one. Like, you don't need to do those like that. Yeah, you gotta hit the mushroom, and then you're hurt. And now you realize that you do this. Yep. And then you're just kind of sitting there. This is a really strange fight. There's night. Whoops! Whoa. Yeah, that was me pressing uh, two buttons at once. That's what happens. Uh, there we go. I blasted you three times. Yeah, and that's all it takes. Yeah, like, if you don't go full-on aggro for no reason. Pretty simple, it turns out. You just gotta take the time to see what they can do. So I got a handful of stars I need to get. I'm gonna have to absolutely keep my laser. And then from hell, we take a detour to the mountain. 
Oh, that's a mountain of fate. I could see uh, the lake there. Okay, well, we know where we're going afterwards. Hopefully, the extra stage. <laughs> Carrot for me. Carrots are tasty and will make your eyes more powerful in the need. Yeah, I need to keep you this time. I cannot just, like, toss you out somewhere like I've been doing. The other are all, like, at the end, though. So, I don't know. This might go okay. I really don't know what it is that I am doing at all. Alright, so I want to yeah, get some of you here, and I can just blast you here. And there we go. I think I got all of them. Oh, shoot. I'm playing with sound. Alright, sound player. FM stereo dot wave. Here we go. I like saying words. It's fun. Alright, it's... Oh, your design has been extremely simplified. How does that make you feel? Whoa, there you go. There we go, blast you right, right into you. It's like, oh, but look at that. If you got wings or ears, you can do double duty and cause damage as you dodge your flame wave. Wow, that's called being efficient. That's called your kind of an unfortunate boss. It's a ho, the power of the sun. And you're just kind of throwing your weight around, and now you're floating in lava, and you're, like, you're face first, so I'm upset about what's gonna happen to your whole frontal area. But hey, I mean, lava's nothing compared to a star, to be perfectly honest. And I care a lot about scientific verisimilitude. Here we go! Extra stage! And it just uh, happens here. Yeah, like, this is one whole world. To absolve them all. I don't know. Whoa! Cave Town! Alright, alright, alright. So, can you absorb a zombie? I don't know. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the thing that starts the auto scroll. Got it. <laughs> okay. There's a gimmick here. <laughs> Got it. And maybe going into water makes it go down. I'm playing a video game here. You got that, Zombie Dry Bone? Uh, here we go, video games. They exist. Water, yeah, look at that. Clear gimmickry. We know what's going on. I'm gonna absorb a potabo, and then I'm gonna have some fun. That's right, you know we're having fun, because, okay, well, you know what? I gotta do some vine jumping here. I don't have time to be holding on to a radiator. Alright, here we go. I don't know what is going on. Gonna go downtown and jump around. Da, 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 da. Here we go, we got another thing. I don't know about anything. If I jump, I may die, so I'm just gonna stick around. Thank you, radiator. It's time to have some fun. Just ice that zombie. Like, how do you feel about that? Isn't that pretty violent? Oh, oh. Yeah, uh oh is the name of this franchise. Thanks to meet you. Uh, I might have made this a lot harder on myself. Shoot, yeah, uh... Whoa, hey, here we go, video game! Springboard. Yeah, Springboard is... This is like worse than Mario 1 Springboard. But it's just kinda hanging there, so you know you need to bring it somewhere and then miss up your jump anyway! I was going too fast and I pressed the jump button too late. Ah! Whoa! Okay, I, I, I got saved by the cannon there, but yeah, I managed to make myself a passage here. I don't know how much that is worth, really, honestly, but get out of here. Uh, okay, you want me to go there? I'm gonna go there. Yo! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was scary. But I did it! I beat it! Alright, let's 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 investigate the world six. I'm feeling up to it. Oh, we got some happy mountain town here. Here we go. I don't really know what to expect. 
But we're back in Bagpipe Town. Yeah, here we go. We do have a mountain world. Uh, oh, we got a peach! Here we go! Tenchi! With the power to summon a platform. Whoa, that's weird. Wait, so... Huh. Can you, like, chain? No, you can only have one platform that exists at a time. Okay. Alright. Got it. I understand what's going on, maybe. First time Tenchi appeared on this channel, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a lot of gift in those. I don't know what are the rules regarding anything at all regarding the existence of the world. The world doesn't exist, there's your answer to a question you've never asked at all. Alright, is that the first- oh wow, um... Either I'm missing a whole lot, or I don't know what's going on. So the idea is you put this there, and then uh, you can do some platforming. But you just, like, laws of momentum still apply. Uh, okay. Oh, right, I got a timer I have to watch out. I don't know what's the rule for, like, throwing your keystone like that. Uh, Alright, hey, I'm up here now. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Alright, here is a number two, here is a number one, here is... Okay, so you can use these to awkwardly destroy stones, got it. And I do mean awkwardly. I can bop you from underneath. Yeah, of course I can. This is Mario, kinda. Simulated Mario branch. Get out of here! Alright, so I still don't know where the first one is, but I got these. Uh, these are bouncing. Wow. Am I like in an alternate pathway here, or...? Okay, there's stuff going on up there. So if I just throw it there and I can't interact with it, does it... Okay, it eventually just spends itself. Got it. That was a pretty nice flower you got there. I don't know what I'm doing as much as sure about everything that I know about everything that I know. Oh boy, I'm starting to run out of time. How am I gonna complete my delicious recipes if I don't have enough time? I don't know. I think, uh, okay, so there's an exit like right there. Is there anything at the star? Yeah, there's this star here, just randomly. So, I'm loving this power-up, I'm not loving how it can potentially be abused in really nasty ways of hiding things. But hey, here's stage three, hidden away in the old country. So, like, yeah, there's one star that's, like, way at the start that I have not found. Like, is it like, like now it's, the game is opened up to nonsense, like just jump up somewhere, anywhere! Okay, here you do get this power-up, so this might be a clue though. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I wanna know. Alright, let's just beat the level through the normal path. Have a fairy land on us, that's fine, it happens all the time. They're gonna go in this direction this time. Uh, I somehow bop you, I apologize for that. So yeah, you can't toss them when you- I like- you just touch them a little bit. That's all it needs. Alright, uh, there's probably things over here. Maybe not. Well, there could be something in these blocks, though. Alright, let's then spend some time for some bop and get an extra peach! It's the power-up! Because it's it's supposed to it's in her hat it's on her hat it is adorned with like the peaches of immortality or something like that. All right, this is what's happening here. Got it. I'm missing stars again, but it's like exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, there's the, there's the last star. There we go. Little bop, little bop, little bridge. One at start and one near the middle. Feels like it could be anywhere. How do you define anywhere? All space, all time. There's stage two. Two and three for sale. Where is the first one though? Okay. 
Can you go down? You can. Oh, that'd be a clever place to hide one then, like underneath here. I mean, why not? Yeah! There we go, okay. Uh, I feel like what I want to do now is just end the level, log that in. But yeah, no, yeah, uh, it matters, the fact that you can play- Oh man, now you can see all the times where I, like, let go of run. Seeing my time go out there, I'm just gonna lock it in. Whoops! Well, gonna lock in that star I got, and then I'm gonna look around that area. I, I, I've said this at the start, but it's really smart. The whole, like, smart star indicator, so you know around where to look. Like, like that's just, like, smart game design. It's down there! I just saw it! Did you see the star? You guys probably saw it before me. Uh, it's down here. How do you go back home, though? Uh, oh, that's how! <laughs> Alright then. And here we go. That was fun. I, I'm still afraid of the kind of shenanigans the keystone may lead to, but uh, this was pretty fun. Yeah, Tenchi! I like that character a lot, and I'm glad to see it represented in a fan game. Like, fan games tend to kind of orbit around the same general cast of character, but there's a lot of Toho characters that exist. There is a vast quantity of them.